isn't Labor Day like to like because like uh, factory workers at labor or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey y'all, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today, happy Labor Day weekend to all of our Americans who are maybe celebrating the most pointless holiday that has no actual meaning, and so that's why I'm not taking tomorrow off. Um, but to Laura, uh, today, Laura, Franny, and I got out on the water, and it was really nice to spend some time together. And uh, actually, a funny, funny little note. Um, typically on these holidays, people they get the day off, uh, and all it means is we're going to get drunk and barbecue. So I <laughs> recently had a good conversation with my buddies at Backyard and Bonsai, Ian. Uh, he he was saying, you know, I, I like this food, this food, that food, and American food. And I'm like, okay, well, in Ireland, what do you consider American food? And of course, good job, America. It's what we're known for is the worst of the worst. Philly cheesesteaks, French fries, burgers, and things of that nature. Yes, granted, they are absolutely delicious. However, I rarely, if ever, partake in the actual full event. If anything, I'll do like a bunless burger on a salad. Um, but for those of you who are not in the U.S., and this is your view of the United States cuisine, I just want to make a couple of notes. <laughs> So America has had a huge trend of um, farm to table, sea to table, um, things of that nature, restaurants, keeping things local and seasonal, which I believe is adopted from Europe. So go Europe. And, uh, and then also like one of the main cuisines down south of the Mason-Dixon line, the, south, uh, the southern line for the Civil War, what's considered the south of America. Um, they're really known for their barbecue that I think was um, adopted from the Native Americans. And so that's like pig and beef and fowl, um, smoked low and slow on a smoker, and then either given like a vinegar-based, like a more savory sauce, or like a sweet spicy sauce, or just a dry rub, depending on your region of the United States. So if you do come to the United States, remember that we're like 11 different cultures here, all built up from different European and foreign countries. So we have a lot of different uh, cuisines that have become like hybrids from traditional other cultures. So uh, you travel to the US in the future, post this friggin' pandemic when we can actually travel again, um, definitely check out all the cuisines, do your research, and get some and if you actually want some help with it like write me uh, you know my wife does her own like uh, home catering organic food farm to table business whatever seasonal uh, so like I don't have the knowledge but all I gotta do is ask Laura so anyways let me get back on topic today it's all about doing the bonsai with the bride so we had done this initial planting of three I don't remember when she got me these three, maybe my birthday last year, but we did a really cool planting in some bonsai supply mixed sediment soil. And um, so this is supposed to mimic like a tropical pine or a big old palm tree, to, depending on what it does. This is like the low growing, awesome, cool trees that they have there that are just completely gnarly. And then I don't even know what to call this. It has some huge spikes. So <laughs> we'll take a look at that. And then um, along the same lines, my bonsai anniversary is right around Valentine's Day, another pointless holiday in the United States, and that's middle of February. And so Laura had got me a string of hearts for this side of the Libra symbol. I'm a Libra, and the Libra sign is the only inanimate zodiac sign, but it involves the scale, so you're supposed to have balance. So we had a string of hearts, which are much smaller leaves on the left. And then this, all right, for the next shot, I'm going to totally get the name of that. I cannot remember. Um, but if I recall, it's, it's indigenous to one specific region in the world. Uh, so I think it's just been awesome. It's grown really well as a vine. It was tiny and maybe had two of those heart shaped things, uh, heart shaped leaves, nodes, it's, like a succulent cactus. Like a Hoya. Hoya. 
Ahoya, H O Y A. Yes, Ahoya vine. So, what we're going to do to even it out because the string of hearts was a jerk and it didn't like it dry, it didn't like it wet, it didn't like it sunny or in the shade since we got it. So, I really just pulled it out of its soil and said, screw it. So, now we got to keep it even in the true sense of being a Libra. Without further ado, the absolute longest intro in Jarhead Bonsai history. That's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. You ready to do this thing? Yeah. So Laura just looked up all the facts about Labor Day and about the Hoya and where it's from. So this Hoya, this heart-shaped vine dealie, um, that's out of Southeast Asia. So that's pretty cool. And then um, I'm assuming since it's a vine and it's, it seems pretty tropical that it'll root well, actually, um, I'm gonna go get some rooting hormone powder for it. If you wouldn't mind taking a look at this bad boy and then maybe telling them what the hell Labor Day was for. You said like, too many facts for me to remember. I don't remember. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Had to do with the trade and labor unions. Give everybody a day off because everyone works so hard in the U.S. and then Canada, I believe, also celebrates Labor Day. The first Monday of September, and that said, eighty under eighty other European countries celebrate like International Workers' Day, and that is May first, maybe. Don't quote me on that. But it's basically a day to appreciate everyone's hard work and to give us all a day off, except. Jarhead Bonds, I won't be taking a day off. But that's what the holiday's for. It's to appreciate all of the labor unions and people's hard work. And to I, give everyone a day off, except for him. He's not I, allowed. Well, <laughs> and, you know, I, I do that, like, often because it's like, don't tell me when to take a day off. I work for myself. He has to I got, stickler. like, some sort of attitude about yeah, it. Always. Anyway. <sighs> See... <laughs> <laughs> Laura gets to take the day off because she has to deal with me. <laughs> Where do you want to trim this back to? Which one are we doing first? Um, you were supposed to look at that one and I'm just going to get this situation. I was just spinning it around. <laughs> do you want to leave this piece here? This dead piece? Straight up the middle? No, we got to cut that out. Okay. With that one I was thinking we could cut that out. Do you want to cut here? Yeah. So that was actually, that was a flowering spike, so that wasn't like a leaf or anything. So as far as the dieback goes, um, it's not a point of reference. That's a little blood right there though. See it on the side. So I was thinking we could take off like the top little part and leave these lower leaves and maybe get some branching here you want on both sides. Like here though? Yeah. So we get a little bit for dieback. With any tree, succulent, plant that you're not used to working with and you don't know how it's going to react, um, you always want to err on the side of caution. So close, uh, cut closest to um, the inner node above what you're keeping. And then if it dies back and it's woody, then you know a month later or so you just nip that little woody tip off, but you don't risk ruining the leaves below it because sometimes that's all the energy that the tree is getting. Do you want to put in something? Totally. We'll put them in with the... Uh, the uh, lemon touch. tree. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. That looks better already. What else do you want? So, well, this little guy I love. I just want it to be crazy and gnarly okay. and all that. So maybe if you see like some nodes that um, are just intersecting and growing each other, you just twist them off. You don't have to cut them. And then up here. Oh, this kind of just fell off. Fuck. <laughs> you can't see the fuck on you. <laughs> I just went to move okay, it. Okay, so oh, this wow. is going to be part of a planting with these. <laughs> it's got some cool aerial roots. It's not your fault. Either. So anyways, this thing's like kind of crawling everywhere and being cool. 
And what I did is I turned it so that this part is away from the window so that it grows back. Because I didn't want it to be like so um, cascading that uh, that it snapped the trunk and well, the baby one that happened on. <laughs> so I guess my instincts Sorry. were correct. But me. then like this one, think about this. Like we have some, a lot of lower nodes in growth. We have these three really healthy. All right, y'all, so I'm not sure when it shut off. I'll see that upon editing, but anyways, if you missed anything, Laura made a chop, making a cutting out of the longer piece of our Hoya from South Asia, Southeast Asia. And it was in the same type of medium, nice and light. All right, y'all. My camera, I don't know if it was overheating or just intentionally being a jerk. It didn't get a lot of our awesome content, in my opinion, but this is the finished product. Laura pruned this bad boy up. It's way better, fits within the pot. We got this little cutting started, so we got some symmetry in my planting. And I got to spend some quality time with my bride. Um, if you haven't taught your kids or your wife or your husband or your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is, um, about your art form, like obviously sometimes you need alone time and there's that time with your trees. But at other times it's like, you know what, if you share it together, then there's no, there's no resentment. That's time spent together. You're both learning together. And we have completely, completely different views on things so it really helps so that you can collaborate to get a better planting so um my gorgeous overthinking wife laura the cancer zodiac sign and myself the libra uh, we truly enjoy this together and um anyways thanks for watching thanks for sharing this with us uh keep growing enjoy your holiday weekend and we'll see you soon from the ranch cheers y'all